Sales in the three months running up to December the 25th, the so-called golden quarter of the year, can make or break a bottom line. Among those hoping to cash in on the annual Christmas retail rush is Manchester-based entrepreneur Josh Turner. I've always liked bright, colourful socks. I've uh, spoken over the world in socks. So I'm looking forward to walking into Den in, in, in the socks as well. Josh might be about to face the dragons in stockinged feet, but during the festive season at least, healthy sales of his product should be a shoe in It's a massive gifting market. We do socks to every different type of person. Ooh, Competition. Jones. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Can't see any stripies there. Hello Dragons, my name's Josh and I'm the founder of Stand for Socks. We're here today seeking £60,000 for 7.5% equity in my business. 16 hours, that's the average amount of time most of us wear socks for every single day. Yet, socks are typically poorly made, dull and standardised. I spent the last three years iterating and developing the perfect socks, bringing together a number of feature improvements which greatly enhance the comfort and durability of the socks while not compromising on style uh, or ethics. We operate as a direct consumer, scalable e-commerce model. And in the past three years, we've gone from concept to turning over 150,000 and we're on course to do over 500,000 this year. However, about more than just reinvented socks, Socks are one of the most requested items by homeless people. Our model is every pair we sell, we give a pair away. That currently is a fig antibacterial pair to homeless people in the UK. Thank you. I now hand out some samples. Socks for those with a social conscience are the offering from Josh Turner, who's seeking £60,000 in return for a 7.5% share in his buy one, give one garment business. Oh, the dog one. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Given that Peter Jones has a sock range of his own, is Tej Lalvani about to put his foot in it? Hi, Josh. Hi. You said that your socks are aiming to be the world's most comfortable socks. So are they more comfortable than Peter's socks? I would hope so, yes, if they're Peter's own brand. And what is your price point? We're around £10 a pair. OK. So how much does it cost you? Our cost is £4.50, delivered to customer. OK. That's quite expensive. Yeah, well, that's including the donation pair and pick and pack. So out of the £103,000 you did last year, yeah. what's your gross and net profit? Last year, um, gross was 98000 profit was 20000 net profit. 20000 and your forecast is £500,000 sales this year, and your gross profit? Our forecast this year is actually 600000 OK. Our gross profit on that is 330000 and our net profit on that is 60000 And just finally, um, how much money have you put in the business? Started the business actually on benefits. Um, there was a scheme at the time called New Enterprise Allowance Scheme, where they paid people to start companies to create jobs and everything else. And I put £3,000 in of savings when I started. So your backstory, you yeah. came up with an idea and... Yeah, crazy. I've always been an entrepreneur from a young age. I'm dyslexic, I struggled at school, but I kind of thrived at, at buying and selling different business ideas and kind of snowballed from there. So talk me through your business successes in the past. Yeah, I started off washing up cars. I was getting paid £3 an hour. I could make more money doing my own stuff. eBay power seller at 13, 14. I started buying stuff from China, you know, headphones, anything that people kind of my age wanted, I knew how to get. Josh's entrepreneurial zeal has clearly impressed the dragons. But fashion tycoon Tuka Suleiman wants to turn the focus firmly back to footwear. Josh, um, I'm probably the most difficult person to please. OK. Because I know a little bit about socks. Yeah. Uh, when I look at the product, I don't see anything that says to me, wow. It is what I call... A basic sock. Yes, it's a low entry kind of market, but there's a number of feature improvements we've made to our socks, like arch support, a seamless toe closure, reinforced heel and toe. 
We've got a new performance range coming out, like Pilates, Sports Socks, which is going far more moving the brand lifestyle position. We know about reinforcing heels. We know about designs. But you just mentioned something which sort of made me spring up. You said about lifestyle socks. Yes. If you could create a lifestyle sock business, that could be your USP. Yeah. Lifestyle branding we've looked at this year massively. We want socks that you can wear to go for beers, but also wear for yoga or have another one when you go running. We've realized we need to target the niches. Josh's plans to offer specific socks for specific segments of the market have struck a chord with Tuka Suleiman. Now, Deborah Meaden wants to dig a little deeper into the footwear entrepreneur's numbers. So, um, last year, £150,000 turnover. Yes. Gross profit, 98. But looking forward, your gross profit reduces as a percentage. Why? So, in this previous year, we, we broke that. So, we factored that into our margin now. So, when you say 600,000 turnover, that includes VAT? Uh, let me get this right. 600,000 isn't... is... is um, I don't know for sure, if I'm honest, no. OK, well, that's, it's a, it is a little bit worrying that you're not sure, because if 600,000 doesn't include VAT, then you're expecting your turnover to go up to about a £720,000. Yeah. Do you think that sounds realistic to you? I think the, the grounding that we've now built in the last year, that model's churning, and now we're going into email marketing and other areas. I'm confident that we will do over 600,000 this year. You need to do 720,000? Yeah. That's quite a lot over 600,000. Yeah. So you haven't got a big order sitting somewhere that we need to know about? Not just yet, no. Deborah Meaden has revealed a gaping hole in the sock entrepreneur's financial projections, leading Peter Jones to question their overall credibility. I don't think it's possible. You can't achieve the number that you're saying without money. We've got another load of stock coming. I think the mistake I've probably made is... What's just... the value of the stock? Um, I think it's about £18,000. That's nowhere near. Six, seven hundred thousand. Yeah. It looks like to me you'll generate similar numbers to what you've generated this year, which is good, mm. but that's on the basis of the fact that you haven't got the capital to generate a higher number. Yeah. I think you've created a really nice business, and I think that this is a business that you will continue to do well with. But in terms of the opportunity, I can't see how you're going to even achieve half of the forecast you've given in the den today. So, sadly, that's not a proposition for me. I'm going to have to say I'm out. Thank you. Disappointment for the young entrepreneur as Peter Jones walks away from the deal. Has Deborah Meaden seen sufficient merit in the buy one, gift one element of Josh's business to overlook the financial issues? Josh, um, you are in the right space, thinking the right thoughts. I really like the model, but I, I, with those numbers, I can see that we're going to struggle. So I'm really sorry, Josh. I won't be investing. I'm out. Thank you, Deborah. Josh, you're really credible. I think what you've done with the limited amount of money uh, to build a business from your bedroom is quite remarkable. But the issue I have is it's going to be difficult, and especially at the valuation that you've got here, to try and, uh, and take a punt on it. It's not something for me to be part of this journey, so I'm going to say I'm out. Good luck. I've been really impressed with you. I think you're very entrepreneurial. You've got great drive and energy. But I do worry that you don't have the grasp on the numbers to have an investor on board. 
Now, I do love the model of the buy one, give one. I really love that angle. But it's just not quite enough to get me over the line today. Then I'm out. Four dragons down, and the sock entrepreneur's prospects of securing an investment appear as slim as the chances of finding a matching pair on wash day. So, will a sock savvy Tuka Suleiman be prepared to buck the trend? Josh, um, you're predicting to go to 600,000 this year. Well, 720. And year to date, you've done how much? Uh, 16,000 pounds. 16. The majority of our e commerce sales happen in the three or four months before Christmas. That could be easily 200, 250,000. I think, you know, it doesn't really go that way. I think it depends how much money you spend on social media. Yes, very. Everybody's selling socks. So if you Google men's socks, you'll probably be at the bottom of the page because the big guys are paying a lot more money. Yeah. So you have to really spend a lot of money on social media to really acquire something. To be honest with you, the only thing good I see here today is you. You're credible. Unfortunately, your strategy is not credible. I wish you all the best, but I'm not going to invest today, and I'm out. Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers, John. Sadly for Josh, he must leave the den with nothing. There was praise aplenty for the man himself. He's learnt a lot, and he's yeah. figured it out. I think he probably will do well. He will survive. But when it came to parting with their cash, the sock entrepreneur's financial projections gave the dragons decidedly cold feet. I'm very confident that we're going to hit those forecast figures this year, without a doubt. I'm going to continue to wear my socks off and build this business globally. <laughs>